and to sent the school into lockdown early this morning. Greenville City school officials say they learned this morning of a report that the student intended to bring a weapon to school. That sent the school into lockdown shortly after 7 o'clock this morning as Greenville police and K-9 teams searched the school. News Channel 11's Nick Dugan has more on what happened. Aside from one or two police vehicles sitting outside the school's main entrance, it seemed like a routine afternoon here at Greenville High School. But with a student being detained and charged earlier in the day, it was anything but. The lockdown at Greenville High School has been lifted and all students and staff are safe. That was the message earlier today from director of Greenville City Schools, Steve Starnes. As just after 7 o'clock this morning, a student alerted the school resource officer to a potential threat at the school. The student overheard another student talking about bringing a gun to school and hurting people. That's when Greenville Police Department sprang into action. We responded, our patrol shift. Uh, the detectives, everyone here responded to the school. The school was then placed on lockdown, at which time the GPD entered and secured the building and took a male juvenile into custody. A very thorough search was conducted by the Greenville Police Department with assistance from the Green County Sheriff's Department, weapon sniffing K-9. Once it was determined that there was not a credible threat, the lockdown was lifted and school operations resumed. Because of the student's age, officials will not release information about his identity or potential school discipline he will face. However, Captain Davis confirmed that the student has been charged and expects that the charge would be the adult equivalent of false reporting. He said this is the first incident of its kind he can recall at a Greenville City school, but believes training and the relationship between school and department led to a better outcome. Everything went smoothly as it could possibly go this morning. Uh, few hiccups here and there, but we were able to get in, get things secured very quickly, and no one got hurt. As of about 3 p.m. today, Captain Davis said that individual is still being detained, and as for this incident, it will now be presided over by the Greene County Juvenile Court System. In Greenville, Nick Dugan, News Channel 11.